A politician wants to know what people in her district feel about laws protecting people from themselves. Out of 300 people surveyed, 140 of them were in favor of such laws. At the 0 .10 significance level, can the politician say that less than 50% of the people in her district agree with these laws? Well, this will be a hypothesis test about a proportion. So we have our null and the alternative hypotheses. And we're testing a proportion, so I'll use P. P is less than, strictly less than, and when we say strictly less than, that goes in the alternative, less than 0.5. Zero. Um, the opposite of that would be in the null, and that is greater than or equal to. So anytime you have the equal sign attached, equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, that goes in the null. Greater than or equal to 0 0.50. And for very valid reasons, technically, it is equals to in the null hypothesis always. But, but I know a lot of books show it with just being opposite, either less than and then greater than or equal to. And, and that's fine. That's for, for purposes of writing your hypothesis test, that will work. Okay, then we're talking about, in words, this means that less than 50% of the people agree. Agree with such laws. All right, now we're going to find the p-value. The p-value is an area under the standard normal curve, the standard normal curve. So if I have this standard normal distribution, and right in the middle, it's a standard normal, so right in the middle is, is 0, and you have all of these z-scores, we are going to take the information that is given to us, and we will find a z-score. And I'm, I'm putting it to the left because we're testing that the proportion, whether or not the proportion is less than 0.5. So we're going to find this z-score. And then we will find this p-value, this area of the tail. And that, that uh, area is found with the norms, norms with the S for standard, norms DIS T for normal standard distribution uh, in Excel. And then it just, it just asks for the z-score. And that always, always, always gives the area to the left. To the left of, of the z-score. If you saw another uh, video in this series about using the t-distribution, I know that always gives the area to the right of the t, of the t uh, value, but but normal standard distribution a function in Excel always gives you the area to the left. So, in uh, Excel, we're going to have to first find what this Z is. So, Z, according to the formulas, Z equals P hat. That's the sample proportion. P hat minus P is the population proportion. Uh, by the way, I know that sometimes books use um, p and for the sample proportion and then and then uh, pi for the population proportion and if you want to do that that's fine but but know that the notation i'm using is along the standards of other books where p hat is the sample proportion and small p is the population proportion okay moving on divided by the square root of P, that's uh, the, the population proportion, that's this 0.5 in question, multiplied by 1 minus P over the sample size. So it's the square root of that, of that entire fraction. Okay, I put these in different colors because it's very important to put these things in parentheses this numerator. Now the denominator we're going to have square root and, and then everything in parentheses so that'll take care of that. I'm going to find the z-score first just so I don't confuse things and then I will put that z-score into the norms dist. So z-score, of course you could do this on a calculator as well, that's that's fine. But I'm going to use Excel. I'm going to say equals um, our p-hat 
and that equals the 140 divided by, I'll put in this in parentheses here, 140 divided by 300, and then minus our P, our population proportion, which is 0.5. Close the parentheses on that numerator. And then divided by square root. SQRT in Excel is square root. Square root of what? Well, it's the square root of a, of a pretty big uh, amount here. So I've got P, um, 0 0.5, that's the hypothesized proportion, multiplied by, now I know 1 minus 0 0.5 is just 0 0.5, but I just want to follow the formula so that uh, I don't lose anyone here. Let's move this over so we can see what's going on multiplied by 1 minus p, that's our hypothesized proportion, divided by the uh, sample size, which is 300. Now I'm closing the parentheses on that square root. So I've got the numerator divided by the denominator, and the denominator is the square root of all of this stuff. So there's our z-value, negative 1.1547. To get the p-value, to get this area in the red, all I need to do is type in equals norms dist, norms dist with the s, the z, and I'm going to just choose this. Rather than typing this in again, I'm just going to choose this cell. So the, the contents of, of A7. And then there it is. There's the p-value that we are looking for. Let's move this back a little bit so you can hang on to that. So this p-value, let's write this again. And this again was this area. So the p-value is equal to, rounded of course, 0 0.12411. That p-value is greater than the alpha of 0 0.10. 0 0.10, that's our, our significance level, alpha. And when the p-value is greater than alpha, uh, even if it's close like it is, but if it's greater then we cannot reject the null. We fail to reject the null is our decision. Fail to reject the null. And so we're not, we're not accepting the null because we don't do that in statistics. We, we, uh, we never say 100%, but, but we're not going to reject the null. We don't have enough evidence to reject the null. The null hypothesis, that is. So we would then go on to say, there is not enough evidence. Not enough. Now, we could get more data, and maybe then we would be able to reject the null, but for what we have, there's not enough evidence um, to, I'll just shorten this, to conclude that P is greater than, oh, I'm sorry, less than, is the alternative is less than 0.5. We have not rejected the null, so we kind of cross cross the alternative out. We're kind of sticking with the with the null. So there's not enough evidence to conclude the the alternative hypothesis.